So we've been talking about the Bionic company. Now let's talk about data and AI. This is about making better business decisions by leveraging the combined strengths of humans and algorithms. It's about companies creating new data muscle, which includes data strategy and sourcing, new skills and ways of working around data and AI, technology and governance. Across industries, data and AI are rapidly changing the competitive landscape. From supporting more efficient operations such as predictive maintenance and staffing optimizations to dynamically personalizing interactions with customers, we also see a broad range of new business models based on platforms and proprietary data. Bionic companies have an incredible focus on where and how they can create value from data. As companies move from a system in which decisions are made by humans to one where decisions are made jointly by humans and AI, they build up an ability to collect, manage, and use data from many different sources. Uber, the well-known taxi sharing platform, uses massive amounts of real-time data to efficiently match drivers with customers. Our research shows that companies who invest in data and AI are twice as likely to succeed in their digital transformations. They are also more likely to generate superior returns in comparison to their competitors. They have a very different data muscle. The first is strategy. Bionic companies target large value pools, such as pricing and personalization in commercial functions. They create a path to proprietary data about their customers and their operations. Often this is a combination of existing data and new data. For example, real-time supply chain tracking or measuring marketing campaigns to optimize across multiple channels. The second part of a data muscle is creating new ways of working with data and AI algorithms. In our experience, the algorithms are only 10% of the challenge. The technology is 20% and the rest, 70%, is really about changing ways of working. It's about having the skills and talent as well as the methods needed to drive real impact. And for sure, new skills will be required in data science and in technology such as data engineering. These skills will be required throughout the organization. But importantly, managers will also need to be much more fluent with data and advanced analytic techniques. People need to learn new ways of working and importantly to trust the way algorithms are working before there's real impact. It's the process of using algorithms to augment what people do that needs to be the focus. This will require building new cross-functional ways of working and building ongoing learning and innovation into machine and AI operations. The third part of our data muscle is really around creating the foundational technology and data governance, which liberates data from core systems and ensures appropriate use. Data needs to be liberated from core technology applications and functional silos. This enables the exchange of data seamlessly across traditional application areas and across traditional organizational boundaries. Data governance needs to be developed to ensure appropriate use of data and AI algorithms. For example, take profiling and facial recognition. It's critical to ensure that the biases present in the datasets of today are not perpetuated in the algorithms of tomorrow. The very blood of bionic companies is data. It brings machines and AI to life. So we encourage you to think about data and AI and its role in the bionic company in the future.